Hi, I've tried to start this intro so many times and I keep fucking it up, so I told myself, this is the intro you're gonna keep, you stupid piece of shit, so don't fuck it up, so here it is. Welcome to today's video. Today, I'm gonna do something really cool. I'm gonna show you how to stream from your Orco goggles to YouTube and Twitch. Now, you can stream from Orco goggles to Facebook, no problem, you just put in your deets and you can do it, but I fucking hate Facebook and there's no way I'm going near that fucking cesspool. And I needed a way to do it to YouTube and Twitch and I figured it out. So welcome to today's video. I'm gonna, this is, Bachrander's actually gonna teach you some shit today. Check this out. So Orca came out with the FPV Connect module where you just put this little thing in your uh, your goggles and you can live stream to Facebook and people can watch you rip and it's like, you know, that's sick, but fuck Facebook. I've been trying to figure out a way on my own to stream even when I just had fat sharks to the internet. I made, I don't know if you saw my video, but I made this whole contraption with a wireless receiver that plugs into your phone and then I screen capped it and then I flew it and it worked okay, but it was a whole freaking setup and a whole damn thing. So when I saw that Orca could stream directly from the goggles to the phone I was like well that's easy all you have to do is screen cap that and put it out through Streamlabs mobile and you can stream live rips and guess what I totally fucking did it I had to do kind of like a little workaround with Streamlabs and stuff you know because the screen cap and everything I was gonna try to record I was gonna try to screen cap my phone with a program to show you exactly how I do it but since I'm already capping the feed from Orca with the Streamlabs thing, then putting another screen capping software on top of that, my phone just wasn't letting me. So I had to do this really freaking janky setup with the camera pointed at my phone and hope and it kept going out of focus. Whatever, you'll see. Here's how I set it up. I'm gonna show you that real quick and then we're gonna go to the field and try it out. And then I'm gonna tell you my thoughts on it when we're done. It's gonna be great, so fucking stick around. Here's, here's how I did it. Okay, again, I apologize for the janky nature of doing this but i just couldn't figure out the damn double triple screen cap so here's your freaking thing right here is just your basic streamlabs mobile interface in this left corner the three little bars you click on that and you go to editor right editor is what you're going to be mainly using there's a bunch of shit don't worry about all this shit you're going to be using your editor here and you're gonna be using the settings button down here to plug in all your stream info so it knows where to stream like log into your youtube and your twitch so first thing I do is go to editor. Oh, yeah, stay out of focus. See that little button? I gotta move it. But you press that little button down there, and you, <laughs> this is so fucking dumb. You're gonna add a camera, and the camera's gonna be your stupid face. Well, your face is probably fine. Mine is stupid. But what I like to do is put my face, and you can drag it around. Hey, look at us using this camera. Hey. <laughs> uh -huh. So you're gonna, uh, you know, I like to put a little fucking camera right there. I love it going out of focus too. Maybe it'll just stay on there. So, you know, boom, there's that. Now you're going to want to stream to your motherfucking goggle. You're going to want to stream your goggles to your, what am I doing? So now you have your little face. Hey, how you doing? You're going to want to stream the freaking goggle uh, feed down there. So you plug in your goggles, you turn them on, then you turn on your drone so you can go to your Orca app. Now you can turn the app on first and then plug in your drone if you're worried about your VTX melting, but whatever. So as long as you got your Streamlabs good to go, you go to your Orca, then you wait for your Orca to do the freaking thing. Now, what I had to do was I had to turn on, uh, see, you need your mobile data to go to Streamlabs. You need your Wi-Fi. To be on orca this one's on kitty so i'm going to set on orca now i had to tell my phone make sure that you use 4g always focus bitch i had to tell i had to set my phone to use 4g to go to the internet for Streamlabs. there's a there's a setting in android that you click and it's for staying connected to fucking 4g uh for the internet and staying connected to wi-fi for a wi-fi device so now that my orca is connected to my phone the goggles the drone to the goggles the goggles to the phone i can click on the streaming button and i can start streaming from my drone hey how's it going from my drone to my goggles to my phone now this is where Streamlabs comes into play you're going to click on your stream labs and then you're going to open up a screen cap in the editor which is over here, there's a little button. Hey, little button. Come here, let me press you. Yep, you're gonna open that up and press that little button again to add a screen. Yep, yep, this is why I couldn't do the freaking thing. Now this is just gonna cap whatever is on your screen, all right? Whatever your phone, whatever your human eyeballs see is what this is gonna see. So this looks like crap to you, right? This is what it's gonna look like to your audience. It's gonna look like crap. So you come over here and then you go back to your Orca app and now you're streaming whatever your 
thing <laughs> what am i talking about you're streaming whatever your phone is capturing right there see how that's what i'm seeing i'm seeing on my phone right here i'm seeing on my phone my freaking stream so this is what's going to be streaming on youtube and twitch meanwhile you're gonna have a little box somewhere with your face because you set that up. Now you just have to keep that in mind. You're not gonna be able to see comments, you're not gonna be able to see shit because you're gonna have to keep the Orca app open for them to see that stream. And then from there, once you have your feed going, which, ow, fucking shit, I dropped it on my foot. I know that explanation sucked and this, the video was really bad, but basically all you do is you run Streamlabs Mobile, you do a screen cap, you go to your Orca app, you stream your goggles to your Orca app, and you make sure you can see that screen on your phone. That means it's displaying to Streamlabs and then streaming to your Twitch or YouTube. Pretty easy, pretty easy. Okay, now it's all well and good, you know, sitting in the room making sure that shit works, but will it really work in the field? Yeah, it totally does. And I went to the field yesterday and I did it. Now, if you're subscribed and you have that little notification bell pressed, then you'll know that I did a live stream yesterday. A bunch of you saw that live stream where I just ripped a couple packs live using this exact method. So if you don't have that little bell press, press it because I'm going to be doing a lot more at live streams and it'll notify you of it. That video is unlisted on YouTube, but what I'm going to do is download some of it and put it in this video and re-upload it so y'all can see it. So the, there's going to be compression. It's going to kind of look like shit because I'm going to have to stretch it out. But I think the live stream looks pretty good. For those of you that saw it, leave a comment below. Do you think the live stream looked good enough to keep doing? I really think it did, so I'm going to keep doing them. But let's go to the fields from yesterday and I'll show you what that live stream to YouTube looked like in, in horrible quality. Oh boy, I don't know if this is even working. I guess we'll just run it. Is this working on YouTube? Yeah, fuck it. Let's just run it. Can anybody see this? I guess what I can do is back out and look. Maybe it'll show me the chat. I don't know if it'll show me the chat. Motherfucker. I should have thought about this before. Should have got another phone. I don't even own another phone. Can you all see the screen even? What is this? What is this? This is this a head in a box? What is this? I don't know what that is. I need to go exploring later. So as you can see in the video, my phone was like showing the three little things on the bottom. I didn't crop it right. And that can be taken care of very easily in the software by cropping it, making the screen bigger, making probably the FPV feed like the whole screen, and then just having a little face on top of that. I just wasn't, I haven't really used Streamlabs mobile much, so I didn't really know how it was gonna appear on the screen. With a few more tests, I'm sure I'll be able to make this look banging, you know what I mean? Just a nice big full screen, DVR rip, and in between battery changes, I can make the little face bigger and we can answer questions. I really think this is gonna revolutionize analog FPV TV live streaming. It's pretty fucking cool. Orca's doing a really cool thing and using the Streamlabs mobile workaround, you don't have to just stream to Facebook. You can stream to YouTube and Twitch as well, which I think is super fun. So stick around on the channel, subscribe to me on Twitch, it's just Bach Grinder. I'm going to be doing more live streams on there. Thank you Orca so much for making a super cool product. Streamlabs for making a really cool program. I use slobs for my Friday night live streams, for my Tuesday night video game streams, for all that stuff. So I'm fairly familiar with the desktop app and the mobile app is just a super simplified version of that. If you have any questions about how this works if you want to try to live stream yourself hit me up put a thing in the comments hit me up via email or discord or whatever and i'll try to help you out because i would like to see more people doing live rips i think it's pretty freaking cool and i just like to see more people doing it i'm definitely gonna be doing more myself so stick around fucking stay tuned for them shits thank you so much for watching this video everybody i promised next time will be better i have some brand new t-shirts for sale and some zip up hoodies i'm pretty stoked on those so go to shopbachgrinder.com buy some shit for this winter help support me so i can get that fpv land i keep talking about and i'll see you on the next horrible video. Okay, I love you. Bye. <laughs> Even if you don't... Oh, fuck.